Good afternoon, dear brethren, sisters, saints, Church of the Living God. Okay, hello, hello. And to those of you lost people out there who um, hopefully will see this, I'm going to put tags in the description, in, not in the description, in the title, to hopefully get some of your people, uh, you people's attention, okay? Um, very, very quickly, let me, let me introduce myself. My name is Brad, okay? Um, I am a preacher and teacher of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is God our Father. Um, I preach from the authorized version of the scriptures. This is the only, <laughs> this is the word of God. This is the perfect and errant, given by inspiration word of God. Okay? That, you know, there are tons of Bibles out there. They all say different things. This is the real deal. Okay? Just so you know. Okay? If you see this, so you can go to, go, to my, go to the channel that the Lord has given me. See all kinds of stuff on there. Okay? But, um, yes, I, I am a minister of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is God our Father. Okay? This video is for you. Okay? Now, just to... Just to very quickly mention to you, number one, I am not a Christian. I am not a Christian. I am a saint. Now, right away, you might have a reservation about hearing a, the word saint, like, oh, you're a saint? Dear lost individual, and the, the Christians, too. You don't know what a saint is? In the description box, there will be a video for you there to, you know, to tell you what this is says is a saint okay i'm not a christian all right please understand that i am saved born again converted of the church of god okay saved people are saints all right just so you know all right one of the things that i will do here online on youtube is i will check out ghost videos now, the brethren are aware that I do this. Some of them are kind of like, Brad, why are you doing that? It, until recently, seemed to be something that was effective. Okay? Um, it's a good means, ways to, uh, to witness, especially when people, it's like, who, what, what are you talking about? Okay? But I will check out these ghost channels um, that show supposed evidence of devil activity and whatnot. The one that I've been watching recently is called The Depths of Despair. And I'm going to link that dude's channel somewhere in the um, title here. Um, now, you got to remember. you got to remember. Ghosts, poltergeists, hauntings, devil possession are real. Those things actually happen in the real world. Okay? Number one. You lost people, and even you Christians, you got to understand, number one, that really happens. Number two, they're not of God. God, our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, doth not work in such a fashion. There will be two specific videos for you in the description box. And for the, for the individual who this is being made, uh, pointing at you, Mr. Hooker, well, whatever, Nick is your name, apparently, um... All right, I've been trying to leave comments on your videos, uh, but for some reason, and this has been happening lately, uh, the lovely YouTube, YouTube algorithm won't allow my comments to stay up for some reason. Uh, it's, it's very bizarre. So we're going to try this. And if the Lord doesn't want uh, this reaching you <laughs> there, Mr. Nick, um, you got... Um, you got some bigger issues to consider there, son. Okay? <laughs> but anyway, these things, these ghosts that uh, people encounter, they're not of God. They are of the devil. They are devils. Okay? You're, you're in a house and you got a haunting and a door slams open, uh, drawers open and things fly out. That's not of God. That is of the devil. Those are devil spirits, unclean spirits that are around you. Okay? you, you got to understand that. Okay? You have to understand that. You're not dealing with anything that comes from God. You are dealing with devils. Number one. 
Okay, number one. <laughs> All right? And uh, we're going to be addressing this. And we've had addressed this before, but recently I've come across this one guy who has the real deal going on. And uh, it's tearing things apart uh, on him and between him and his wife. Now, also, too, you got to remember, okay, um, like this depths of despair, I don't recommend you saints just to go willy-nilly over there and check it out because, eh. but a majority of these ghost videos that you will see, they're bunk. They're fake, okay? They are. A majority of them are. All right, you got these guys in the wilderness, you know, they, they, you could, they see these uh, eyes with their cameras and it's always shaky and they go dark for a while or they hear a cricket flatulate and they're like, ah, ah, okay, or they, they go into a building and they hear noises, okay, it could be a myriad of things. All right, and also to outright uh, fraudulence with guys with fishing lure string or whatever, which is very hard to detect with a camera, especially with a hell phone, okay, or a guy hiding somewhere and doing something like that, okay. A majority of these ghost videos, a majority of them, uh, that you will see, they're fake. They're fake. Uh, but there are some out there that are legitimate. For example, there's this one where this uh, gal in France has some clear devil activity going on. But then again, there's this one video of her where there was like, they call him shadow figure, uh, that was in a um, hallway and kept getting closer and closer as every time she did one of these. And it was interesting because, uh, now that I don't believe was real, because I even commented in that video, it's like, that could have been just a regular old intruder, a person, spirit, soul, and body, okay? And if that were the case, that person ought to be met with a bludgeon object, okay? All right, that kind of stuff I don't buy, okay? And also, too, you'll see these videos like these animal videos, especially with cats, where the owner will look at a cat at the corner, go back, and then comes closer, come back, come closer, mimicking the same thing. I don't buy that. And also, too, You'll see these videos where, have you heard of the movie The Grudge? How about the movie The Ring? Where there's this Asiatic woman, girl, with long black hair covering her face. Okay, The, the Ring and The Grudge. Um, Alright, you've heard of that? Alright. There are a lot of videos out there where they will show these, in these videos, this thing with long hair uh, like the grudge okay I don't believe those for a second now could a devil be doing that to get attention absolutely absolutely okay yes the devils can manifest like that but dude dude I, like I've said in several comments I don't know if they're up anymore it's like, okay, let's say you got something and you're questioning, okay, do I really got devils, you know, poltergeists, and that's it's all devils. Do I really got that on? You see something like that? Um, go at it. <laughs> okay? Go. Look. Okay, is that, is that, okay, is that, is that something, okay? But then again, with some of these shadow figure things uh, that I've seen, where the, guy, where the dude will be like, whoa, and run right at it. And go and go look around the corner and it's gone. Okay, that could be legitimate. Okay, and then you also got to remember there are several things that could be used to make these fraudulent things, but there are some legitimate. There are some legitimate. Okay, and this one dude, the hooker is his channel. Now, also, too, right away with the title hooker, you might be thinking of the name for a prostitute, but you also got to remember that the term hooker was also used for grappling in the old days as meaning as someone who knew how to hook the opponent or put a submission hold on them, okay? But like I said, some of these videos that you will see, that you can see, are legitimate. It's like, okay, dude, you, you got devils going on. You got devils going on, okay? It's not of God. 
God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, does not operate in that sphere. Okay? You need to understand that. And also, too, do you've got devils. All right? Now, now, with that said, if you have the King James Version, this is the real deal. This is the actual Word of God. This is perfect and errant given by inspiration. Okay? All right? A Bible such as the NIV, the ESV, the non-King James Version. Don't mess around with those. Those come from Rome. Rome is Satan's church, son. Okay? That's so why you don't call Catholic priests to come and do things in the... No, we're going to address that. But if you have this, an authorized version, read along with me. And hey, Nick, whatever your name is, you're in your house, in that house of yours that has devils, okay? Play this. Go ahead. All right? All right? But if you don't have an authorized version, go get one. This is what God said. In the book of Ephesians, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, book of Ephesians, chapter 2, Verses 1 on verse 3. Now, this verse is 1 on verse 3 in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, is addressed to those saints, and a saint is someone who is saved. In other dispensations, that doesn't mean anything to you. Uh, you we got stuff on that on the channel if you want to look into that. But right now, let's stay on point, okay? In other dispensations, a saint was someone who was right with God. Today, in this dispensation... A saint is someone who is saved. Okay? This is addressed to saints. But we're looking at this to show you the prince of the power of the air, the little g god of this world, as given unto for judgment's sake. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. You're not saved. You're not saved. You're dead in trespasses and sins. Okay? When you go the way of the cross, broken of your self-righteousness, contrite, and uh, broken, contrite, and in fear of the Lord, you call upon Him, and He saves you. He seals you. Okay? So, and you hath He quickened. Quickened means, right there, to be made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins. He's referring on to saints, saved people. Where in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Prince of the power of the air. That's a reference on to Satan. Okay? Satan. And the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. The spirit. Lowercase s. Okay? What is that the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience? You can liken that unto that spirit of antichrist. To be anti is to be against and to replace. Antiperspirant, you know? Against what? Your natural scent to replace with some chemical cancer causing thing. Okay? I know that's a little crude, but that's a good example. Verse 3. And what this also tells you is, if you're not saved and you've heard the true gospel, you are a child of disobedience. What does that mean? God's wrath is for you. God's wrath is for you. Okay? Let's continue. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature... The children of wrath, even as others. So see, you're not saved, and you've heard the true gospel, and you reject Jesus Christ, unlike what Christianity tells you. God's wrath is for you. God does not, present tense, love the Christ-rejecting sinner. That is heresy, that is dangerous, that is damning people to hell. Okay? 
God does not love you if you reject the gospel. Okay? God's wrath is for you. Christians going to lost people who have heard the truth before and deny Jesus Christ, and these Christians come up to you and say, God loves you. They're lying to you. Do you understand? Okay? You reject the gospel, son. The true gospel. All right? You reject that. God's wrath is for you. His love is to be had at the cross, Calvary. Okay? But you got to go that way to the cross. He does the calling. He does the saving. But remember, he doesn't hold a gun at your head forcing you to be saved or to stay lost. Okay? You got to make the right decision, son. You understand? All right? So, you've heard the true gospel. What is the true gospel? Links for you in the description box. Okay? Links will be for you in the description box. Uh, Nick, you see this? I hope you consider these things. You got devils going on in your house, man. Those are devils. And you wanting to talk to a medium? Uh, no. Oh, uh, Nick, you look like an intelligent guy, but you've done some really stupid things. And we're going to show you that. Okay? I'm saying this to you out of love. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you this out of love. All right? All right? Don't go to Rome. That's Satan's church. For, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, don't go to a medium or any of these things. Stay away from these ghost hunter guys. Okay? They, they ain't going to help you. The only one who can help you is the Lord Jesus Christ. God the Father. Okay? Now, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 on to verse 19. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Again, and in the power of his might. Strong in the Lord. Saints, saved people. You're not saved, this doesn't apply to you. But this is being shown to you. Because, number one, you need to be saved. You need to be saved. And... If the Lord saves you, you have the power of God within you. It's nothing of you. You have the Father dwelling within you. The Lord purchases you with his blood because you go the way of the cross, broken, contrite, and in fear of him. You call upon his name, and he saves you. He seals you until the day of redemption. Okay? You're, you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, there's lots of information for you, but right now let's stay on point, okay? Saved people, saints, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay? We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. All right? Dude, you got devils in your house. And also, too, what did you do? And saints, you're going to see this, and you're going to be like, Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. But anyway, let's continue. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Loins. Use your imagination what that's talking about. Having on the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate covers your heart. Okay? Okay? And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Okay? Gospel of peace. So there, there, there is a heresy called easy believism, free grace out there. Check out the channel here. We got lots of stuff on that. Debunking that. That is heresy. That is of the devil. Okay? Don't buy it. Okay? God does not love you. It is not just believe and receive. Okay? You need to be broken. All right? All right? And from the looks of it, that process is going on with you there, Nick. But you're going in the wrong direction. Hopefully this will get you 
to the Lord through this will get you like, hey, you need to come. You need to go to the Father, boy. Going to mediums, going to the Roman Catholic Church, you're going to make it worse, as if you probably haven't already. And apparently he's moving. Hopefully that settles it. But, um, you know, there is evidence to suggest that these devil spirits will follow an individual. Okay? And we'll look at that. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation. See, saints know we are saved and that we're going to heaven when we die. Okay? And the sword of the capital S, that means the Lord himself, spirit, which is the word of God. This is the word of God. This is the sword of the spirit. Okay? You got anything else, it is not the true word of God. Okay, um, I hate to make it, but never mind. It, uh, it's a foam sword. It's a plastic play thing. It's not real. This is the word of God. This is the sword of the spirit. Okay? The only way any combat with devils is going to happen is through the Lord Jesus Christ and through his word. It is written. It is written. It is written. And also remember though, Satan in the temptation of Jesus also said, it is written. Okay, you got to remember that. But how did the Lord Jesus Christ deal with Satan? It is written. It is written. It is written. Okay? All right. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the capital S spirit and watching on to with all perseverance and supplications for all saints and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Okay? Now go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Okay? 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Verses 1 on to verse 7. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but, ma but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. See, you go into Rome to try to cast out the devils that are in your house, you're asking Satan to cast out Satan. Now, in the description box, there will be the video called Ghosts Amongst Us, where we talk about that, and we show in that video how Satan will put on a performance, okay, to fool you, to make you think that Rome is actually... No, 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 no. You don't go to one of these deliverance ministries by these Christian Pentecostals with their... I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and all that nonsense. No, 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 no. You don't go to them. Okay? You don't go to Christianity. Okay? Don't go to Christianity. Christianity is not the faith that was once delivered on to the saints. Okay? Stay away from that. All right? Do you understand? Okay? But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. Yes, and you got like a Roman Catholic priest coming with something that isn't the scripture and trying to, no, it doesn't work. You know, anyone else like a Christian going to a home or whatnot, or whatever they do to try to deal with this, and they don't have the scriptures, uh, and they believe in one God and three persons, the Trinity, it's, it's a no-win situation. But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. <laughs> Nick, do you see this? You're lost. Okay? You're lost. <laughs> You're lost, dude. Okay? I can judge you. Okay? You know why? Because I have a perfect standard that I judge myself by first. Therefore, I'm able to judge you. Okay? You're lost. You need to be saved. You need to be saved. Okay? In whom the God of this world, that's a little G, 
in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. You know, when these exorcist priests, <laughs> Satan casting out Satan, they're, they're vaulting themselves. Okay? They're vaulting themselves. These deliverance people ministries, the Pentecostals, stay away from them. Uh, in the comments section, if you see this, Nick, you might see a dear brother by the name of Alexander B. Hartley uh, mention about that, uh, who might go off on that. And brother, you see that? Believe your comments about any of you uh, refuting these satanic uh, Pentecostal deliverance ministries. And they're, they're imparting devils. They're not casting them out. Okay? But anyway, let's continue. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give light, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure, and Jesus Christ is that treasure, in earthen vessels. That's Christ in you. God the Father dwelling in you. There is no Trinity. Okay? One God comprised of spirit, soul, and body. Hey, Nick, even you, you're made in the image of God. You have a spirit, you have a soul, you have a body. Questions about that? Check out the playlist, Jesus is the Father, okay? And Nick, if you see this and take this seriously, and you actually consider doing this, I hope you do, do not be surprised if the activity, the devils, get increased, by doing this. Why? Because Satan doesn't want you to go to the Lord Jesus Christ. If anything, Satan wants you to go to the Roman Catholic Church to get you a Jesuit priest to come in and curse your house or go to some medium. All the while, Satan is laughing at you. Don't be surprised, man, if you, you go the way of the cross that the activity is going to increase. Don't be surprised. You trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't save yourself, Nick. You're not a good person. Okay? And guess what? Unless you go the way of the cross, okay, unless you repent of that self-righteousness, you can't repent of your sins. You can't. Even if I were to hold a gun at your head, you couldn't do it. Okay? It's not what you're repenting of. You're repenting of your self-righteousness. You're not good. You can't do anything. You can't do anything to get rid of those devils in your house. The only one who could do that is the Lord Jesus Christ through His Word. Okay? You're going to go to hell, Nick, unless the Lord saves you. You understand? You need to get right with God. You need to get saved. This is exactly, look at me, this is exactly what you need to hear. Especially when you got such devil activity going on in your house. This is exactly what you need to hear. Okay? Now, go to first, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 on verse 6. Now I, Paul, beseech you, by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence am base among you, but being absent and bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence, wherewith I think to be bold against some, which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. Okay, number one, you doing that stupid Ouija board. Hey, Nick, you see this? Burn that Ouija board. Burn it. Get your charcoal thing, light it on fire, and burn it. Burn it. You got occultic things in your house, burn them. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna read scripture about that, okay? But well, let's continue. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Okay? You go into a Catholic Jesuit priest. Satan's church, a medium, that's warring after the flesh, okay? This is a spiritual book. This is the sword of the spirit. You need to be saved. You understand? I hope you do. You're barking up the wrong tree. You're thinking about going to mediums. 
You're moving, praise the Lord. If that thing follows you, Nick, you need to consider this. And Nick, if you, I hope you do. I hope you do see this. I really do. I'm going to put your channel in the uh, in the title. I'm also going to put the depths of despair in the, also in the title as well. Okay? You move. You disregard this. You move. And that devil follows you. You need to wake up from your sleep, son. And I think you're older than me. This is what you need to hear. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Carnal, fleshly. Like lighting sage in your house. This nonsensical witchcraft, taking an egg and then cracking it and all this, that. That's witchcraft. That's witchcraft. You don't cast out Satan with Satan, son. Okay? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds. What are these strongholds? Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. See, you need to know that you can't save yourself. You're not a good person. There is nothing you can do to save yourself. Okay? You need to understand that. And if the Lord doesn't save you, you're going to go to hell. And you're going to burn for eternity. Your marriage is being broken apart if you're even married to that lovely woman. I'm not, we're not talking about that, okay? Your life is being disrupted. Everything is falling apart. You have devils in your house. And you're going to devils to try to cast out devils. Son! You need to get saved. This is exactly what you need to hear. Okay? And having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Okay? All right? Now, now, in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, Verses 25 on to verse 29. See now, here. Let now let's 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 hear. Let's go to this. Let's go to this. All right. Here, let me first get this up here a little bit like this. Uh, what was the one? Where, where was it? Bear with me there, if you're watching. Okay. All right. Now here. All right. The hooker. This is this Nick individual who I am talking about. Okay? This is him. All right? Now, I have been trying. You can see the little red thing. I, I watched a little of this. I watched a little of this. I watched a little of this. Okay? I have tried, dude, to leave comments on your videos. But for some reason my comments were not showing up. They'd show up, but then when I go back, they disappear. Okay? All right? But, um, saints, and saints, this guy's Nick. He is not saved. Okay? Uh, this guy's got the real deal going on. This guy has devils going on in his house. Okay? But, he, he, probably Conflict have a commercial. Yeah, isn't yeah, fair. It's, it's stupid. Hunger. Stupid commercial. Isn't okay. fair. Being All forced right. to work. <laughs> okay, be the beat. Stop. Okay, this this guy uses uh, foul language. Nick, I'm saying this to you because I care about you. That's stupid. You see this with these ghost guys? They'll hold a seance. They'll use witchcraft to try to talk to devils. You don't, do. Nick. And he and you made that yourself, Nick. That's stupid, Nick. That is stupid, Nick. You still got that thing in your place? Burn it. That that's stupid, man. That is stupid. You messing around with that? 
That that that's stupid. Okay, I, Nick, I'm sure you have an intelligent mind. I that was one of the stupidest things you've done. Okay, that 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 that's stupidity. Matthew twelve. Matthew twelve. 25 on to 29. And brethren, pray for this man. If the Lord if the Lord leads you and guides you to pray for this man, pray for this man. This guy is not saved. And look at that. It's right there. Okay? You people! You got devils in your house. You don't use witchcraft devices. You don't use the devices of the devil to try to... Don't do this! This is stupid! Okay? Sage and all these witchcraft things and seances going to Rome. Mediums. Okay? Don't do that. That is stupid. Hey, Nick, how, how did things work for you after you did that? Anyway. Matthew 12, 25 on to 29. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, his, he is divided against himself. How shall his kingdom stand? Now, in the video Ghosts Amongst Us, we bring up about how the Jesuit order will go into houses, and sometimes these Jesuit priests will seemingly cast out the... No, they're not. The devil is tricking you, saying, okay, pull, hold off now so this guy will be deceived, thinking that Rome is... A, no, that's not what's happening, okay? Dude! People, 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 come on, come on. Listen to me. Using... <laughs> you, 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 you got devils in your house. You got doors opening, uh, drawers silverware, voices, footsteps. You have the real thing happening. Don't mess around with the Ouija board. Don't go to mediums. Don't, God forbid, you go to the Roman Catholic Church. That's Satan's church. Nick, check out the playlist on uh, Jesuitism, Catholicism. Okay, lots of evidence for you to prove to you that Rome is Satan's church, okay? Don't, this is stupid. This is stupid. Don't do this. You messed up, you've dabbled in magic, your finger, fingers are burnt there, Nick. Take that, what you do is, you take that thing out your house, burn it. Burn it. Now, see, and Nick, gotta warn you again. You going to the actual God who is, Jesus Christ, who is our Father, the activity is probably going to intensify to get you away from it. Be aware of that. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen. If you ignore this, you move and it follows you, you were warned. You understand? Now, let's continue. Because we are to read to verse 29. And if I by Beelzebub, devil, cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judges. Aha! See, Jesus is God the Father. Jesus casts out devils. He does that. But when you have like a Jesuit priest coming around and doing all this Hail Mary full of grapes and reading out of the Missal or whatever they have, which is, okay, that's Satan casting out Satan. And if it seems to work, right, it's like, what well, it worked? It's a ruse. It's a ruse. Okay? Let's continue. But if I cast out devils by the capitalist spirit of God, then the kingdom of God, which is a reference unto the spiritual aspect, is come unto you. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man? And then will he spoil his house. And there's none stronger than the Lord Jesus Christ, who is God the Father. Who can stand up against him? But now, see, seeing that, Nick, in the book of Deuteronomy, 
chapter 7, okay, when you have devils in your house, number one, you need to get saved, okay? You need to get saved. But in the book of Deuteronomy, in the book of Deuteronomy, verses, uh, chapter 7, verses 25 and 26, number one, when, if there are devil activity, poltergeist, haunting stuff going on in your house, number one, what did you do? What do I mean? Dude, you got a Ouija board right there. That's a doorway. Okay? Do you have occult things in your house? Have you uh, have you messed around with uh, seances before? Have you done certain things to invite devils into your house? Deuteronomy 7, verses 25 on verse 26. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. You get the rosary beads, dude. You get a marionette statue or a statue of uh, my archangels. Or, or you get uh, dream catchers, sage, the wrapped in sage. Smells good, but <laughs> you're using it for, uh, for witchcraft purposes, seances, okay? All right. What does that say? It's an abomination to the Lord thy God. Okay? Are you inviting devils into your house by watching certain things on television? Through television, through music, through whatever, through hypnotic things, through trance kind of stuff. You have a Ouija board right there. You, you, you know, you might as well open up your door and say, hey, devils, come on in. Verse 26. It's a warning. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house. Nick, any of you? A Ouija board is an abomination. Don't mess with it. You have one somewhere in your house? It's like, okay, not, not addressing Nick. You got something like that somewhere in your house? And it's like, that's what, okay. You got devil stuff going on in your house. You're not saved, number one. Number one, you need to get saved. Okay? But you need to... Okay. Do I, oh, wow. There's a dream catcher. Oh, wow. There's a statue of Mary. Oh, wow. I got some pagan Norse mythology stuff or stuff from the Drunic things or some Egyptian Eye of Horus. Okay? You know our dollar bills with the eagle and the mason star? Do you, are you a mason? Hmm? Do you have Freemason uh, stars around your house? It's not the Star of David, okay? Do, you know, on the dollar bill, that eagle, that's the symbol of Ra. Do you have occultic, devilish things in your house? It's like, that's when you need to take an inventory. And, and there are brethren in the comments that, please, please, our, our one brother, from our dear brother who had problems, and he's a saint, um, he, he did what's right. He, you know, he, he's a saint. He saved. He did, you know, he went to scripture and it's gone. Okay. All right. You got to understand. You got to, that's when you need to do an inventory. It's like, okay, do I have Egyptian stuff? Do I have Norse stuff? Do I have Catholic stuff? Do you have, um, uh, the, uh, the, um, Shinto, um, Taoist stuff, the beads and all this witchcraft? You need to take in consideration of that. And what is it to say? Um, burn them with, burn with fire. Anything like that you got. Take it out of your house. Get your, you know, put it in your charcoal thing or whatever. Make it whatever. Get your charcoal starting fluid and douse that thing and set it on fire. And if it keeps going out, get the gasoline, boy. Okay, douse that thing, burn it. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. And Nick, you need to hear, you're cursed. <coughs> you're cursed. 
You're cursed. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor. Abhor means extreme hatred. Abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. The Ouija and all, anything that is contrary to Christ, graven images, Buddha, Mary statues, and the, the Mary of Rome is not the Mary of Scripture. Okay? Those are abominations. Burn them. Burn them. But see, now, like, like we have said, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, and hey, brethren, if the Lord leads you, uh, because for some reason, my comments are not being allowed on this guy. He did, This guy doesn't even know who I am. How could he be blocked? How could he have blocked me already? You know, no, it's that's that's something YouTube's doing. <laughs> who runs YouTube? Hmm. Hebrews 11, verses 1 on to verse 6. Hebrews 11, verses 1 on to verse 6. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds which were framed by the word of God, the scriptures tells you the true story of how everything came to be. Evolution is a lie, okay? Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, that's the written word, the authorized version of the scriptures, so that things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. What does that mean? They're not man-made. They weren't made of themselves. God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, Nick, I'm, I'm just guessing. You're an evolutionist, okay? That, no. The earth is not millions and billions and trillions of years old. You did not evolve from a sniveling piece of snot out of the water, okay? You did not. This is the truth, the authorized version. This tells you how things happened. Okay, that's what that means. Verse 4. By faith Abel offered on to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because God had translated him. <clears throat> Therefore, before, ah, for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of him that of them that seek that diligently seek him. Excuse me. Okay? Dude, the Trinity is not who God is. Christianity does not offer you the true God. Okay? Saints offer you the true God. Okay? You need to be saved. Alright? And now, also here, let me give you a little evidence about, for example, the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, and uh, you might have been raised Catholic... Uh, I don't know. I know very little about you. I'd like to have correspondence with you. But um, here's some evidence that shows you that without faith, it is impossible to please him. Okay? I've seen in these ghost videos, these people calling on the name of Jesus Christ. They're not saved, number one. And they're merely taking the name of Jesus upon them. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to look at that today. But do you believe he is? Is he God the Father? Huh? Or are you just taking the name for the sake thereof without... Well, I don't believe that Jesus is real, but okay. This guy's telling me that... The, no, 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 no. You're missing it. Okay? All right? Acts chapter 19, verses 13 on 20. Now, keep in mind the Roman... Here, here, let me, let me... We don't need to see this right now. We're, we'll come back to that. Okay, we, we'll come back to that. Okay. Yeah, don't, you go, don't, don't, don't. don't. Right, get out of there, come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, don't go to Rome. 
don't go to Christianity. Verses 13 on to 20 in Acts 19. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preacheth. That's a very important verse. Why? They were just taking the name of Jesus without having saving faith upon him. So it's like trying to take something that you have no faith in and trying to use that. It's like, you know, it's like you trying to use a, a bow and arrow against someone who's in a tank. Okay, it's like you, okay, I've, been, I've told this will work. I don't have any faith in it, but I was told this will work, okay? All right? They are taken upon themselves. We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. That shows you, one, that they didn't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And yet they're trying to take his name to cast out evil spirits, devils, which you're dealing with. Hence, when Rome, you go to Rome to come and button, dude. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew and chief of the priests who did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, now right here, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? Unsaved people, trying to take upon them the name of the Lord without believing that he is. That he's God the Father, that he is the truth, the way, the truth, and the life. Okay, but yet trying to use his name alone without any faith on him? Like these guys were doing? Like what Rome does? Rome says God is one God comprised of three persons. A person is a spirit, soul, and body. Three gods, they preach. That's not who God is. Okay, son, son, you got to understand. Rome doesn't have who God, they don't have the real God. They have nothing right. The Trinity is not who God is. Okay? So, you call a Jesuit priest to come to try to deal with this thing? That's Satan casting out Satan. You understand? And the evil spirit answered, let's read that again, and said, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit leapt, was leapt on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Stripped naked. They were shown for what they were. Nothing. That's what Rome is. It's Satan's church. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all. And the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. Yeah, because these people came in a false premise trying to use the name of the Lord and the devil is like, dude, you're on my side. Well, you have to get out of here. Now, verse 18, and many that believed came and confessed and chewed their deeds. Many of them also now, like we were just telling you, you got occultic stuff, that Ouija board, this is what you do with it. Many of them also which use curious arts, black magic, <laughs> like Rome, okay, brought their books together and burned them all, but burned them before all men. You got occultic stuff in your house, witchcraft stuff, that Ouija board, take it out of your house and burn it. Burn it. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Now see, that might be, a, well, I paid a lot of money for that object. It's, okay, keep it and see how bad the devils get in your house. You understand? Now, Matthew 17. Matthew 17. Matthew 17. 
verses 14 on to verse 21. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed it. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I besought him, and I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Now this is a boy who is possessed with the devil. And when you look in scripture, seizures are greatly linked onto devil possession. Now I understand that not every seizure, like people, like um, people who are retarded. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the word retarded. You look that up in a dictionary, it means slow. Okay, someone who is retarded might have seizures. You know, there is trauma-induced things where, like, I, the one guy who bashed his head against the windshield and now he has seizures. Okay, that happens. But scripturally, seizure activity is greatly linked with devil possession. You know, jerking and stuff like that. The eyeballs rolling back in their head, doing this, all this contorting and stuff like that. Okay, that stuff really happens. All right. Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. See, son, you, Jesus is, Jesus is, he's alive. He is God the Father, and God the Father can dwell in you. But see, you got to go the way, way of the cross, son. You need to be broken of your self-righteousness. You need to stop looking at the things of the devil and look toward the Lord. Okay? And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. I've seen these videos where these uh, Hispanic Catholics say things like, in the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. Uh. Or the, the, the dumbest one, they try to like, you know, what is your name? They like, God, you know, you got to see the context of that. God the Father was like, what's your name? And they said, Legion, for we are many. Okay, we as mankind, we don't do that. And I've seen in these videos where it could be legitimate devil uh, activity, these guys, I command you in Jesus to manifest yourself. Dude, you idiot, it's already manifest. Okay, don't say stupid stuff like that. Don't do that. Okay, in the name of Jesus, I command you to manifest. Dude, dude. You got the door slamming, uh, things flying around, you're hearing things, okay? Hello, genius. It's already be ma it's already manifesting. Okay, hello, McFly. Don't say stupid stuff like that. Don't. Don't. Okay? Don't do that. Alright? Jesus is the one. Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? Don't be saying. Uh, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Well, now we're going to look at an example of that. But context is saint. The Lord through him. Okay? Not you through the Lord. There's a difference. Okay? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, Ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it, shall and, it, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it? Now, check a Bible. Check a Bible like the NIV, the ESV, the non-King James Version. That, that has them in the non-King James Version. But a lot of the Bibles, Bibles, this King James Version is the Scriptures, take out prayer and fasting. Howbeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. 
concentrating in prayer unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I don't know. I, I, there's devils here. Lord, save me. Save me. I can't save myself. Lord Jesus Christ, God, my Father, please get rid of these devils. Prayer and fasting. Fasting because you're concentrating on nothing else but the Lord Jesus Christ. Another, Mark 9, Mark 9, verses 14 on to verse 29. Mark 9, 14 on to 29. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them, and the scribes questioning with them. And straightway all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed, and running to him, saluted him. And he asked the scribes, What question ye with them? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. Dumb means not being able to speak. Okay? A lot of these, I mean, a lot of the devil spirits that actually are the real thing, uh, some, most of the times they don't, aren't audible. Sometimes they are. Okay? But dumb simply means not being able to speak. And when and wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. Foaming and gnashing with his teeth. Verse 18 is describing to you what is referred to as a grand mal seizure. Have you ever seen that before? Where they jerk and convulse, and their eyes roll, and they foam. This is describing a seizure. Okay? Have you seen that before? It's terrifying. There are legitimate medical reasons why that could happen. Yes, there are. But in Scripture, we cannot get away from it. Scripture says you're better off when you see someone in a seizure. You are scripturally better off to first be, okay, that's devil possession. Better to err with that than to be, well, it's just something. No, 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 no. Scripture is telling us seizures are equated with devil possession. Okay? And I speak to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answered him and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. Now also... We see here, and in verse 18, and wheresoever he taketh him. What does that show you? It followed him. There is evidence that uh, on these uh, some of these ghost videos where a dude will be in one, one place with all this actual devil uh, activity going on. He leaves and it follows him. Hey, Nick, you seen this? I hope you do. I hope you do. You see this, Nick? You moving? I hope that ends it. But right here, scriptural evidence, Nick. And wheresoever he taketh him, there's a good possibility that devil will follow you wherever you go. And the only way to deal with it is to not deal with it. What do I mean? Go to the Lord Jesus Christ. Get saved, man. Jesus Christ is the only one who can handle this, not you. And they brought him, verse 20, and they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell to the ground and wallowed foaming. So the devil's spirit within this kid, when he sees God the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, okay, sees him. The devil spirit is like, ah, and does his thing. Has a seizure. Look at what Jesus says. And he, Jesus, asked his father, how long is it ago since this came on to him? And he said, of a child. Of a child. We don't know the exact age of this kid, or of this person, excuse me, spiritual body. But what we see here, evidence is a prolonged, thing of devil possession. We see here in the text 
Number one, it can follow you, Nick. Number two, it could be with you for quite a while. Th this is the real world, son. This is what you need to hear. No one's telling you it. And for whatever reason, I can't comment on your videos. And I've tried. Even on your shorts. Shut up, you, you guys. <laughs> you devils. Uh, even on your short videos. Okay? I've tried. This is the last ditch effort. And if this doesn't, if they don't allow this, they allow this to be uploaded, then um, may the Lord send someone else. But anyway. Alright, let's continue. Verse 22. And oftentimes it hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Now see, as we saw in the sons of Sceva, they were just, you know, willy-nilly. It was like, we adjure you by Jesus who Paul preaches. But they didn't believe. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou mine unbelief. Dude! Your wife is leaving you apparently. I'm sorry for you. Everything, I mean, you look ill. Everything is falling apart. Okay? And you're still not going to where you need to go. And you have devils manifesting themselves. Talk about shadow figures who are eight feet tall and stuff like that. And uh, Okay? Where else are you going to go? You can't, don't go to Rome. Don't go to any pagan, no. To the Lord Jesus Christ. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb, being unable to speak, and deaf, can't hear spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him, and he was and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said he is dead. Like I told you. Now what happened? The Lord rebuked this spirit. And it went out of him. And in the process of going out, the spirit ah, cried, rent him, tore him, and came out of him. Meaning, it got worse just before he left. Like I told you. You seek the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Father, the God who is. It's going to get worse. Mark my words. Don't quit and don't be afraid. See, see, Nick, here's the thing. Oh, yeah, when you, when you encounter devils in real life, that's, that, that's horrifying. That's scary. When you see doors slam and there's no wind, and, it's, and that deafening silence, okay? You feel banging under you, loud banging. You hear and see that. That's terrifying. You know what's scarier than that? Standing before the one who will put you into hell because you denied him. Roll that Okay, you know, Nick, though, I, hey, hey, dude, I'd be scared too. I mean, I would. I mean, I, I, <laughs> we got the sword here. Okay, the Lord's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Okay? <laughs> the Lord Jesus. All right? But see, you die without Christ, you're going to give an account to him at the great white throne of judgment. And having heard the gospel and rejected it, 
then you're going to be cast into the lake of fire and burn forever. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Father, ought to be feared a hundred times more than the devil who's throwing pots and pans at you. You might say, well, that's easy for you to say. No, it isn't. But keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Okay? Verse 27. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was coming to the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we ask, cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Prayer unto the Lord Jesus Christ who is God the Father, fasting, cut out all things to concentrate on him. And when you're fasting like that, you don't have time to eat, you don't have time for your cell phone, you don't have time for this. All you are is focused on the Lord. Now, Acts chapter 2, and son, son, <laughs> um, in, the, in, the, in the playlists, uh, there are those heretics out there who say that Acts 2.38 is the gospel. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Uh, uh, there's plenty of information on, there, on the channel here f to show you the truth. We're looking at this simply for what? The name of Jesus Christ. See, now, the sons of Sceva, we adjure thee by Jesus whom Paul preacheth. But they didn't believe. Okay? They didn't believe. All right? Acts 2, 31 on verse 40. He, Peter, seen, he seen this, Peter's the one speaking, before spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul is not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we all are witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, and hath shed forth this which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, until I make thy foes thy footstool. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Christ means anointed one. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. Prick. You take a little pen and prick and a little blood comes out. When you cut something, a lot of blood comes out. Pricked heart is this. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? But see, when someone is cut to the heart, hold your place here in Acts chapter 7, Acts chapter 7, you see a contrast. See, a lot of people, when you confront them with the God who is from the authorized version of the scripture, a majority of the time, they get cut to the heart. Verse 54 uh, in Acts chapter 7. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. Okay? Gnashed on him. Didn't want to hear it. They stopped their ears. Ah! I don't want to hear that. Or prick to the heart. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Hey, Nick, which one is it for you? Which one is it going to be, huh? You hearing me speaking to you like this with all you got going on? Are you going to be cut to the heart and be like, who are you? Did you, what are you? You don't know what I'm going through. You're right, I don't. I've never lived in a place that had devils like that. I have experienced devil activity like that. Yes, I have. But I've never lived with it. You're right. 
But see, this is what you need to hear. So what's it going to be, Nick? Are you going to gnash with your teeth because this cuts you? Or are you being brought so low? Men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. You don't need to be baptized in water. Remember that. Okay? Questions about that? Check out the playlist, Refuting Charismatic Heresy. Okay? And check out Water Baptism. Uh, Acts 2.38. We have a video on that. Check. Look for yourself. Okay? But, Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the promise is unto you, he was addressing only Hebraic Jews there, no Gentiles, and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. For with, and with many other words, did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Now, you're, you're lost. You, you can't get this. You need to be saved first, okay? But there is information refuting the Pentecostals, the name it and claim it, the water dogs like Campbellites, like uh, the duck commander guys, and stuff like that. Catholics believe you need to be dipped in water or have water thrown on you. They're not, okay? Catholicism is Satan's religion and church. Okay? Like I said, search for yourself. But we looked at this specifically for what? Acts 4. Acts 4, verses 10 on verse 12. Acts 4, 10 on verse 12. Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, Hey, Nick, you crucified Christ. Yes, you did. Your sins put him on the, that tree. My sins put him on that tree. See, personal accountability. That's why you can't, uh, you've got to avoid the free gracers because they skip over personal accountability and say, well, we're all sinners. God wants, you're going to be held personally accountable. Come. Let us reason together, you and I. You need to wake up. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Devils that you're experiencing and you haven't gone to the true Jesus Christ who is. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head, head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Whose name? Whose name? Whose name? Which Jesus? Remember, the Jesus of Catholicism is not the true Jesus. The Jesus of Christianity is not the true Jesus. Keep that in mind. Yet, I hope, I do, I pray you see this. And I pray you make it through this. You're being told truth today, son. We've looked at scriptural evidence to show you that you're moving. Good. What if it follows you? I show, We showed you evidence that that spirit that's haunting you could follow you. Especially if you're being like that dude. Again, any of you. Any of you, you got to, you, you, you take that thing and burn it. Get rid of it. You don't, don't mess around with that. Okay? Acts chapter 3. Go back. Acts chapter 3. The name of Jesus Christ. Okay? You need to be saved. You need to be saved. Okay? 
You're on a sinking submarine there, man. Here's your only life support. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Oh, there was a guy out there out front begging, okay, wanting money. And we're going to read from verses 4 on to verse 10 in Acts chapter 3. And there's one guy who was crippled, was begging for money, and he asked Peter and John what that, what not. And verse 4 on to verse 10. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And he took him by that right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and his ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. See, Nick, also you need to consider, you actually truly get saved by the Lord who is, and he come, and he get rid of that thing. Oh, what a saint you would make. What a saint you would make. What a saint you would make. Now, Acts 16. Acts 16. Verses 16 on to verse 18. I have encountered this myself personally before. Okay? You will see Christians, uh, like I said, in several videos, I've seen these guys. I command you in the name of Jesus. Manifest. Okay, that's so, don't. Don't do that. Remember, people, okay? Okay? If the doors are closing by themselves, if drawers are opening and you're having Tupperware thrown at you, if you're hearing disembodied voices, thumps and knocking at the door, those are creepy. Those are creepy. Okay? You got a knocking at the door and you open the door and there's no one there. That can be faked, yes, yes. Someone could be like da 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 and that someone or or the jiggling of the handle. That that's scary. That can be faked, but there are uh, incidences I believe that they're actually real. And you open up your door, you're letting it in. That is true. Okay, you don't give these things, you know, open things or whatnot. But then again, too, like I said, I, I have guns. Okay, and I hear something like that at like 3 in the morning knocking at my door. There's no way in Hades I'm going to meet it with a weapon, a carnal weapon like a 357 or a 38 Special. Now, if that's an intruder and they break in, they're going to get shot. Okay? This is the weapon that I'm going to use. Sword of the Spirit. Okay? And I'm a saint. I'm saved. So, Paul, the Apostle Paul, a saved man, very important. Acts 16, verses 16 on to verse 18. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. Soothsaying is witchcraft, okay? A spirit of divination that is not a spirit of God. Excuse me, okay? That's a devil. That's an unclean spirit. Okay? Christians will, uh, I've heard like a female, warning preacher from the German Catholic Church, Lutherans, uh, trying to justify that the, uh, the spirit of divination, divination there was a god. No. It's uh, of the god of this world, okay? This woman with the spirit of divination had a devil spirit in her, an unclean spirit. Period. Period. Okay? Now, this unclean spirit, the same followed Paul and us. Again, Nick, you're moving. I hope that ends it for you. But in the mouth of two witnesses at least, 
a devil possessed woman or a devil spirit can follow you. And especially you brought that the publicly that Ouija board, you're cursed. You're not saved. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which shew unto us the way of salvation. Now, that was truth. That was truth. Yes, Paul was showing them the way of salvation. But see, a devil was doing it to try to get stir up the people to cause division. What does Paul do? And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Notice that it doesn't say, say that he said to the woman. What does he say? I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Paul was saved. Paul was saved. And he, in the name of, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her. Do not do... Look, Nick, if you see this, and you don't deal with the Lord Jesus Christ first. But you see, okay, this guy said in the name of Jesus. You go around saying in the name of Jesus Christ and you're not saved. The devil, as you have been witness to in Acts 19, is going to say, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? Okay, you, you need to deal with the Lord Jesus Christ first, son. Before you deal with that devil that's haunting you. I'm telling you. You go to the actual Jesus Christ who is, that devil is going to increase. Be aware. Be aware. This is the only way you're going to, this is the only way you're going to have any peace through the Lord Jesus Christ who is. Do you understand? I hope you do. I hope you do. I, I, I really hope you do. And here it is, Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 on to verse 11. Now, could a lost person, out of a moment of sheer terror, like in a situation like that, truly out of repentance and brokenness, uh, call upon the name of the Lord, like, Lord save me, or do that, and the Lord actually come to the rescue? Yes, that could happen. But the scriptural evidence is telling you, you need to be saved. Get saved. You need to deal with the Lord Jesus Christ first before you can deal. And you can't. You can't deal with that devil that's haunting you, Nick. You need to deal with the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians 2, verses 5 on to verse 11. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Now see, son, you, you get something that's not the authorized version, and you read that verse, it's, it's not going to be the same thing. It's not the word of God. That's why you, like, don't, listen to me. You look like an educated man. You can understand the authorized version of the scripture, okay? You need to get saved. Anything else is fake. You need the scripture, the authorized version, the King James Version, the Word of God. This is what you need, okay? Anything else is fake, all right? You get it, you got it. Let's say you got like a Catholic Bible with like the NIV, okay? <laughs> all right? Say you got that at your place. You're going to read that verse, who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God. It's going to read something else. You need the scripture, number one. Okay? But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That devil or devils, I'm sure it's many, that's haunting you, that at, at, at 
that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue, including the tongue of devils, should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. It's at the name of Jesus Christ. But see, I gave you evidence. Acts 19. You need to get saved. Because you see this, and I hope you do, you see this and don't deal with Jesus Christ first. You're just... Now, this, again, this thing about in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord rebuke thee. The Lord rebuke thee. That they use these Pentecostals. I rebuke thee. In no, 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 no. They're not saved. You guys weak and be bad. No, 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 no. The Lord is the one who will do the rebuking. Not you. You, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord rebuke thee. Zechariah in the Old Testament. Zechariah chapter 3. Zechariah chapter 3. Zechariah chapter 3. And he shewed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem Rebuke thee, is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? You want to be a brand plucked out of the fire, Nick? Come, let us reason together, you and I. That's uh, where we go through scripturally, what must you do to be saved? You need to wake up. You need to wake up from your sleep. I can't imagine what it must be like, the horror that you're going through in your own house. And you're asking for help, you're asking the devils for help. Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him, and unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment. For our instruction in righteousness, okay, old man lost, you come to the Lord broken, contrite, and in fear of him, call upon his name, and he save you and seal you. You're sealed until the day of redemption. You have Jesus Christ, God the Father, the Holy Ghost, Lord is that spirit dwelling within you. You become a new creature. Now, being a saint, the devil could oppress you, but he can't possess you. Okay? And I said, let them set a fair mitre upon his head. So they set a fair mitre upon his head and clothed him with garments, and the angel of the Lord stood by. And the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, If thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou wilt keep my charge, then thou shalt also judge my house, and shall also keep my courts, and will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. This was under the law. You don't have to keep the law today to be saved. The law was there to show you that you can't save yourself. Okay? Okay? We're reading this to show you, to show you the importance of God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Hear now, O Joshua, the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men wondered at. For behold, I will bring forth my servant, the branch. Jesus calls himself, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. Okay? Jesus, this is uh, referring on to God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua, upon one stone shall be seven eyes, 
Behold, I will engrave the gravings thereof, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day. In that day, saith the Lord of hosts, ye shall call every man his neighbor under the, under the vine and under his fig tree, vine, fig tree, Israel and whatnot, but the branch, our Lord Jesus Christ. You go to him, the Lord rebukes Satan, you become a new creature. Okay? Jude. 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 Jude doesn't have chapters. That's the books on... Jude is the book right before the book of Revelation. Okay? Right before the book of Revelation. Jude. 8 on to verse 10. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities, uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay? Now, I want you to see something. Archangels are some of the most, are like one of the, Michael the Archangel, they're powerful. Satan is the anointed cherub. Okay? But Michael, the Archangel, Michael the Archangel, what did he do? Yet Michael the Archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. This is Michael the Archangel. Durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. So you have Michael the Archangel in contending with Satan, the anointed cherub, the devil, he, Michael, the archangel himself, didn't say, I rebuke you, Satan, get in. Whoa. What did he say? The Lord rebuke thee. So, see here, the point is, you got these devil Catholics, Jesuit priests, coming along, doing all their witchcraft, trying to curse your house even worse, or you got these Pentecostals, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, drawing attention to themselves. Okay? Okay? We, we read Zechariah chapter 3, and not even Michael the archangel took the authority upon himself. The Lord rebuked thee. And see, these guys, these Christians, who you would go to, like Rome, like the Pentecostals, or whatever, or you go to the uh, Hinduists, or to the Taoists, or what, whatever, anything other than the God who is, okay? But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally, as brute beasts. In those things they corrupt themselves. See, see, son, here's, here's the thing. You're going to anything but the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling you. Look at you. Look at me, man. You look at me. I'm telling you. And, and I mean, yeah, dealing with devils in your house, horrifying. But you're going to be ten million times more scared when you're standing at that great white throne of judgment, looking at the one who you've denied. The Lord Jesus Christ, and then you get cast off to hell and burn forever. That's going to be even a million times more scarier to you. The saith the Lord. And again, here. Okay, let me let's let's look. Uh, let's get one last look at this this poor guy's channel here. Uh, I do, and I and I do. I I feel for this guy. I do. I I feel for this guy. I do. I, I feel really bad for you, Nick. I do. Uh, this guy's name is Nick. Okay, this is his channel. Uh, please keep this guy in your prayers. I mean, this guy, this guy, I mean, all his stuff has basically been is paranormal. And it's been going on for three years. Okay? And like right here, uh, he's moving. It broke my TV and all this stuff. The, the guy has, I, I mean, and like I said, um... I've seen some of his stuff on other channels, okay, and he's using electronic spirit boxes or whatever. Um, yeah, 
Nick, you need to deal with Jesus Christ first. Okay? All right? Like I said, and saints, if you want to reach out to this guy to maybe help him, uh, please feel free to do so if the Lord call you to do so. Because like I said, I've tried commenting on this guy's channel, and I can't. I've tried, it's like, I've, it's like, hey, check out these videos, please, you know, and uh, I, it'll stay there for a second, then I go back and it's gone, okay? So, that is going to be it for this video. That is going to be it for this video. Let me close this up right here, okay? For, for you lost people. And you encounter this. Number one, it's real. Number two, our father doesn't uh, uh, deal like uh, deal like that. He, he doesn't operate like that. Number three, they're devils. Okay? Don't do stupid things like seances and Ouija boards. Sage, it smells good. But no, that's witchcraft. You don't use Satan to cast out Satan. Lord Jesus Christ through the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. He is the only hope that you have, and you need to get saved. So. Bow your head. Father Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, our God, um, I, I hope, Lord Jesus, that th this pricks the hearts of those who may hear it, uh, I, I hope it does, and I hope that someone, if they see this, like I said, their heart be pricked to consider you and your word, and that they come to you, Lord, because they need thee, not me. They need you, and not Rome. So, Lord Jesus Christ, God, our Father, magnify your name, and may you be glorified, and may those who come to you will, and Blessings be to you, Lord, and blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, God, who is our Father. In Jesus' name, amen. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Dear saints, please keep us in your prayer. We, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> we need your prayers. This is actually the best that I have felt now pretty much all week. So um, thank you for your prayers. I love you. We're going to get this uploaded. Thank you for watching. And, and any of you who see this, um, who have questions, come. Let's reason together, you and I. Bye-bye.